Hello, hello! Welcome to Club Crusette. I'm your host, Crusette, and welcome back to Finding Paradise. So when we last left off, things got really juicy. Like, Roxanne showed up and started calling out Neil, saying that the machine he was using wasn't even Sigmund Corp's machine, that it was his own rig, and that his official machine was left back at the office. Which might explain why there's all these weird phenomenons going on. But let's see what's going on. Without further ado, let's get back into Finding Paradise. So we're outside of the memory right now. Your coat is so shiny, Neil. Did you get it dry cleaned? How can you switch tones like that without a third degree whiplash? Oh, I'm sorry. So yeah, about your machine? Yep, dry cleaning is just the best. <laughs> hey, about earlier. Never mind that. How's progress with the patient? Just swell. We've almost unlocked his entire timeline. Then we'll just send the signal and bam, another job well done. Sounds like you've got everything under control. You bet. Hey, look, I still think I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. When I said that I couldn't stand you, I swear it was only because I thought you weren't listening. <laughs> uh-huh. Move along. That's so funny. Are we going to say anything new about the hibiscuses? A pot of homegrown hibiscus. Yeah, we don't see any pictures of Faye at all. Like, at all. Huh. A whole lifetime of memories, and we barely ran into any of these nice ones. Photo album. Let's read the note on that real quick. Barely any of the happy memories captured here were seen during the memory traversal. Uh, it's true, we've spent a lot of time in childhood. Instead... Taking a breather, huh? Paperwork, mostly. How's he looking? Colin's okay so far, but you guys are stirring things up in there. Stirring things up? What do you mean? It's his brain activity. It's been abnormally high for a sedated patient. Try not to aggravate him too much in there. Wait, what? But we haven't been doing anything different compared to any other patient. Hey, I'm only telling you what I see. Anyway, just try to keep it in mind. I'll continue to monitor his status. Triple dot. Where did Sophia go? Is she in the attic? I'd like to talk to her real quick, too. I wonder how Colin's son is holding up. He's suddenly concerned about talking to Asher? Huh, where'd your mother go? I think she went to the attic. I knew it. Oh. Hey, may I talk to you in private for a moment? Uh, well... Yes, let's do it. Alright, come on. As long as it's just for a moment. What's up? There's something I wanted to ask you. It's about my father's wish and what you saw in there. You know that's confidential, right? Yes, but... You must know what it's like being the family of a patient undergoing this procedure. To be honest, my mother was always against it, and I wasn't a big fan either. But if my father were to take on a new life's worth of memories, well, knowing what and why would at least help me come to terms with it. Right. So please, 
could you tell me? I hope I get the chance. Reveal info about Colin. I I hope he just tells him like he just wanted to change up some little things like and refer to like the ink attack and uh, the last landing. You know, don't mention Faye. You know, your father actually wished for something completely unremarkable. He just asked to be happy, that's all. I guess he certainly isn't, huh? I mean, he's dying. Well, you shouldn't look at it that way. People are always going to have cravings and longings for what-ifs. He's just... Curious about the grass on the other side of the fence, that's all. As humans are. I suppose so. But hey, he really did ask for you and your mother to stay a part of his new life. Hope that helps, for what it's worth. Thanks, Doc. Good luck with the rest of it. I hope something works out. We'll do what we can. What is with this music all of a sudden? It was just so quiet. I should give Eva a call to see what's up in there. Gosh darn it, I just want to talk to his wife. View connection status. Internal Neuro Connections 1. Operator Profiles Dr. Eva Rosaline. Hey, Eva, do you hear me? Neil? Yep, how's it going in there? Just trying to find the last memory link. Still, there was only one left. Yeah, I just don't know. I've looked everywhere. But the scan shows there's one more here somewhere. I I'm gonna find it. Are you done with the paperwork? Well, I just... Damn it. Where are my pills? Neil? I better not have left him in the car again. Hey, you still there? This happened into the moon as well. He had one of these moments where he needed to take medicine at the end. I swear this is gonna be like a Jaden Norman moment, honestly. Sorry, I'm not finished with the paperwork yet. Ugh, how long does it take to fill and sign some papers? It's, uh, almost ready. I'll come back as soon as it's done. Alright, just make it quick. It shouldn't take that long to get to the car and back. Are you kidding me? We have to go to the car and back? Wait a sec. I think Faye is still a part of the their lives here because didn't Potato remember that girl from a few episodes back she was saying how there was um a woman in a brown dress who swooped in and saved her teddy bear do you think that might have been Faye? Because she wears brown. Let's talk to Sophia real quick. I'm more interested in this than getting him some pills. You're out early. Just needed to take care of some things. I'm heading back soon. That's good. Ah. <sighs> This game's gonna kill me with the choices. Yes, we'll bring up Colin's memories. We're done connecting most of the paths through Colin's memories, by the way. If you'd like, I could tell you about some of the things we've found. 
I thought that'd be considered confidential. Yeah, but you're his wife. I personally think you deserve to know. Thanks, but I'm okay. Aren't you at least curious about the things we've found? Sure. And there's a time I'd be dying to know every detail. But no, I don't think it matters much anymore. Perhaps you know some things I don't. Maybe it even changed my view of things. Still, even then, it'd be just another incomplete piece of reality. And after a lifetime where all is said and done, I feel like the best I could do is simply stay with the reality I've come to peace with. There is, however, something I wanted to ask, only because I feel like it's meant for me. Did you find anything about why Colin put this book here? And like this? No, I was actually going to ask you about it. He's had it for a long time now, and he kept on replacing its pages. Okay, so that answers a question I had in my last video, where I was like, did he have multiple of the same green book, or did he only have one book? So it's the same one, he's just been renewing it. And now, it's just filled with pieces of blank paper. If you find something about it that's meant for me, please do let me know. That's all I ask. Understood. I'll keep an eye out for it. Hey, wait. Dr. Watts, right? I know I haven't been the most welcoming, and you probably know why by now. But... I know you're just here to do your job. So, thank you for helping him. Yeah, no hard feelings. I like Sophia a lot. God, I can't believe we have to go to the car now, though. Like... I knew you'd come by here. Oh, it's you again. Thanks for kicking Amber's doll into the pond for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Is that your mother? Corla, it's okay. I hope you traumatized that kid. She's been picking on my potato for years. It's time she learned her lesson. And now I've got an even smaller potato. I was really starting to worry about the future. You named your other kid Potato too? Of course not. Don't be silly. It's just a nickname. Her real his real name's Spud. <laughs> oh, by the way, the man at the front desk told me you're here to visit old man Colin. You know Colin. Yeah, he once literally beat up Amber for me. Did I use that word right, Mama? No, dear. You meant figuratively. Oh, aww. But whatevs. So anyway, last week, Colin gave me his leftover jar of lemon juice. I haven't seen him since then, though. Could you please give it back to him? Wait, lemon juice? What for? To write spy messages, of course. It's invisible ink. I've already written two secret letters to Spud for when he can read good. Old man Colin said he was already done using it, so I could borrow the whole jar if I wanted. Oh. Huh. Lucky me. No, lemon juice. So, 
So, could you give the car back to Colin? Not the car, the jar, sorry. Well, I don't think Colin needs it anymore. You could probably keep it. Wowee, thanks! I'm gonna write a letter to myself! Okay, Potato, it's time to head home. Aw, alright. Eva, are you calling me from the machine? Yeah, at least this function's still working normally. Hey, listen, I might have figured out Colin's book with the blank pages. That's not important. Right now, I need you to text something for me. Uh, what? Bye! Is everything okay in there? Did you find that last memory link? No. Are you at a computer? I can be. Good. Could you run a record search on Faye and check for any advent accidents? Do you think she was in a plane crash? I just wanted to rule the possibility of something out. I'll send you her extracted profile. There's enough data w even without her last name. Let me know when you have the results. Okay. Is he calling Roxy? Or Rob? Hello? Hey, Rox. You still on your laptop, right? Yep, yep. I just forwarded a profile to you. Mind helping me running a background check? Sure. Mind telling me what you're up to with the machine? Uh... Okie dokie, Loki pokey. It's settled then. I'll call you back with the results. I really do think Faye was the woman in that brown dress. Hey, Eva, I'm still working on the... Neil, can you hear me? Uh, yes. Hello? Are you there? I'm right here. What is it? Neil, if you can hear me... Listen, I don't think she... Eva... Are you still there? Weird. This calm must be malfunctioning. I'll fix it as soon as I get back. We still have to go to the car? God, this is kind of horrible. Wait a minute. Huh, that's a nice bike. Sure wish I had one like that. No, she... Eva, what happened earlier? No, it's Roxy, you silly putty! Oh. Uh, so how's the record search going? Oh, it's going just great. Actually, no. It's not great at all. Well, what Rob is saying is that it depends on your perspective. What? It's a yes or no question. Did she die in a plane crash or not? Well... So, here's the great part. There's no plane crash to her record, so you won't have to worry about that. Sheesh, why didn't you just say so? A simple no would have sufficed. Well, that's not all, though. The thing is, not only is there no plane crash, there's nothing else to her record either. She just disappeared. In fact, there is no record of Faye. As in, no record available to the public domain? As in, no record in existence. Anywhere. Oh my god. 
We've checked the cumulative public record, the private ID network databases even. Well, even a few places that we technically don't have access to. Still, there's no record of her for anything. No death, not even birth. Oh. Oh. So, unless Colin's got some extreme form of dis distortive am amnesic uh, amnesia, amnesia condition, he doesn't. I checked. Yeah, so. Oh, sorry. I got another call. Hello? Hurry. Oh god, thank god he ran on his own. Even if it was just someone like me. Someone like me. Hey, where are you two going? Company called. We got another patient going live across town. Yeah, gotta hop. Sorry, Neil. Night call, huh? Should have taken a nap. <laughs> We're all used to it by now. Seems like you've got a handful to sort out yourself, huh? Yes. If what we yielded means what I think it means, you might be in for a tricky evening. At least from our experience, patients capable of that tend to be rather peculiar cases. I've read the patient's case, by the way. Care for a word of advice? Well, you're probably gonna give it to me anyway, so... I don't know the details of Colin's life, but this reminds me of a case we've done. Just try to remember that making someone happy isn't only about finding the answers. It could also... It could also be about shaping the question. Anyhow, good luck. By the way, don't you think you're getting off the hook easy? After this is done, you've got some explaining to do, don't you? Uh... And it's gonna be so much fun! See ya! I'm looking forward to it! Oh, wait. Something just occurred to me. Although I'm not sure why yet, I do know that you removed the machine stabilizer. But with this patient's subconsciousness being neuro-wired to the system's processor... Well, I hope you've got a backup plan if he's able to get around its single-threaded firewall. Oh, man. God. Neil? You messed up. Eva? Wait a minute. She's moving. It's probably not... It's probably best to not provoke anything before figuring out what's going on. I should find Eva first. I knew it. Huh? The link to his timeline's overworld it got unlocked. Even if Eva's not there anymore... It'd be easier to look for her from there. In her overworld. I don't like her. She literally stares at you when you're not looking. Who is she? I feel very good about titling 
my one of my previous videos, who is Faye? Because that question seemed very appropriate. I assumed it was just going to be the childhood girl next door, but it got more and more curious as she just openly disappeared. Eva, are you here? Every memory of Colin that we've pieced together so far. She's gotta be in one of them. Scan for activity. Personnel, Dr. Eva Rosaline, not detected. Sorry, I have a cat who's trying to climb my desk right now. Scan for activity. Not detected. Where could she be? The vortex of anomaly that's been bouncing around us. I guess it's near the memory we left off at. Scan for activity? Not detected. Not detected. Not here either. Not here. I mean, I have this horrible feeling she's not going to be in any of them. Dagnabbit, how could she be in the machine, but nowhere in the memories? Unless... System, narrow down Eva's most recent position. Well, duh. Freaking Bermuda Triangle. Guess it's back to the crime scene. System, load up all available recordings from here. I'm heading out. Get the forms ready for a fill-in. Wait, what? Flicking, flipping corn cobs. How can this one memory link be so hard to find? And that idiot is sure taking his sweet time. Wait a minute. He's curious about her. He keeps his eye on her. Are you at a computer? Good. Could you run a record search on Faye and check for any accidents? I just want to rule out the possibility of something. Neil, can you hear me? Hello, are you there? Neil, if you can hear me. Listen, I don't think she's real. She's... she's all in his head. And something strange is happening. Hello? Say something! She's trying to keep him. This is what happens when you go to get your pills. What is this? You. Just like a supernatural demon. What did you do to Eva? Oh my god. What? What the heck is this? Damn it. This isn't even the freaking genre of patient I signed up for.
What do you want? Leave. We can't leave. This is our job. Colin signed for us to be here. He changed his mind. Leave. You don't belong here. Fine. You want to play hardball? Let's play freaking hardball. Go for it, Watts. You may have the host subconscious, but I'm still the admin of this world. I never thought I'd have to use this, but you leave me no choice. It's time to show you my true power. Ah. 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 Even she's like, what's going on? This just your controlled interface was a terrible idea. Ah! Why am I watching a magical girl transformation? I did not sign up to play Sailor Moon tonight. Or or Sailor Watts. If you think I'm going to show mercy, you'd be sadly mistaken. Give up now, and maybe I'll consider. Oh, damn it. Please leave. Dag nabbit. You were so close, Neil. This is so not what I built that back door for. I guess even my code needs testing for practical use. Ugh. And what the heck happened to Eva? I need to get to the bottom of this. I like that he's running now. Yeah, this seems a little low on the list of priorities right now. Any instance of Colin should get me back to the overworld. System, narrow down positions of rogue mental activity. All of them. Oh no. Yes, it isn't all of them. She's split up everywhere? Where to even begin? Where else? Childhood. She's here somewhere. System, disable interactivity for all non-operators, including Colin. Locked. Not yet. Good try. 
but I sure don't recall the poster looking like that. You look a little distorted, by the way. Don't you try squeezing in there and looking the same. What the? What is this place? You tell me. What? Wait a minute. This... This is my unfinished interface. How are you even here? And where is Eva? Why should I tell you? You were going to remove me from Colin's memories. Uh, we weren't necessarily going. You're gonna... You're here to do your job, are you not? You said yourselves that you'd start with me, then work your way up. We only said that because we didn't know you could hear us. Wait, that came out wrong. But listen, you need to believe me. I'm on the patient side, not the contracts. This, this is just a misunderstanding. We're here to do what's best for Colin. And you can work with us to make it happen. Hmm, that does sound enticing. It would be nice if that were the case. But should I believe you? Well, let's see. No. Access to current memory denied. Commencing forced booting. Hey, wait, I'm the admin. Damn it, did my own system just elope with my patient's freaking imaginary friend? Traverse. Not yet. That was you walking by here, wasn't it? That's none of your business anymore. This again? Hey, look over there. Okay, this isn't fair. You're basically wired to the system's processor. Why won't you just give up and leave us alone? I know Colin signed the contract, but he only did it out of desperation. He didn't understand the consequences, but now he does. Listen, I don't know what you take us for, but we're here to help him. I mean, I don't know exactly how yet, but at least give us a chance. Just tell me where Eva is and give us the memory link so we can finish the job your colleague. To tell you the truth, I don't actually know where she is. And as for the memory link... You'll have to go through me. Screw it. Fight. That was your choice, so be it. That's not fair. I can't even leave a mark on you. There was no chance at all. Access to current memory denied. Commencing forced booting. Okay, this sucks. Let's go here. I don't recall...
So, how did you buy a ticket for that? See, I wasn't even here in the actual memory. Get it right. Hey, look. That paper plane thing was totally uncool. But what did you mean when you said you don't know where Eva is? I saw the footage. You were the one who locked her away. No. All I did was lock the communication channels and give her a scare. I don't know where she went afterwards. In fact, she disappeared soon after you returned. Disappeared? As in, she unplugged from the machine? Yes, she's no longer here. And if you don't leave too... Well, I'm... I'm gonna make you leave. Wait, how are you even accessing my private programs like this? That wasn't what I was asking at all. I usually am good at fighting games, but this one's rigged. Current access to memory denied. Committing forced booting. What is this anymore? Ugh. Did Eva really unplug from the machine? Maybe I should too. Wait, but if I'm not here either, Faye might be able to reset our progress. I guess there's at least some use in keeping her busy. Wait a minute. This is the last accessible memory where we saved a commutative copy of Colin. Not quite as bright as the real thing, but sure beats nothing at all. Is he recommending we go talk to Colin? Colin, can you hear me? Oh, you're back. Yes, listen, I need your help. What the hello? You locked down the one who created you? That? No, that's not quite the real Colin. That's merely a partial copy of him that you created. Look, we don't have a lot of time left. If Colin's wish is to be fulfilled, we need you to work with us. You still do not understand. Colin's wish is no longer something you can grant him. His wish now is for you to be gone. What did you do? What? I didn't do anything. Unless... Eva! Hey, that wasn't so bad anymore. Wait a minute. Sweet, it's a Christmas miracle. Don't get ahead of yourself. This again? I won't let you get to him.
trying my best here. She's desperate. But I'm not gonna let her win. Third time's the charm, you know? <laughs> Rogue activity no longer detected in this memory. Finally, something's working. This instant of Colin is locked somehow. Yes. Eva, are you here somewhere? You've been here since the beginning, haven't you? You've only had a glimpse of his life. Don't speak as if you know the beginning. Come on, you've lost your edge. That's quite the confidence for someone who just got lucky. There's still time. Work with us and we'll make the best of this. Best of this would you be leaving Colin alone? And I'll be the one making sure of that. You know I can take you on now, right? Try me. Booyah! Don't mess with me. Fighting games beat my specialty. Not that airplane platforming stuff, though. <laughs> Rogue activity no longer detected in this memory. Booyah! Eva should see. Booyah! Eva should see me now. External patch installation initiated. What the? Is that you, Eva? Rogue mentality. Rogue mental activity detected. This wasn't here before. She's here somewhere. Better not leave so soon. There are leaves blowing inside the building right now. Eva? Eva, there you are. Hey. Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. Did you see Faye around here? Don't worry, I took care of her. Already? What did you do? Oh, uh, sorry about this mess. I probably should have cleaned up. You know, I've been thinking that we should just leave. Wait, what? 
Oh, even the way she's, like, pulling her hair. That's obviously Faye. The patient clearly doesn't want us to be here. We should respect his wishes. What are you talking about? The patients don't always know what they really want. You, of all people, should know. Wait a minute. Aww. I guess it's no use. I should know by now. You aren't just gonna leave. I really don't know what to do anymore. But I have to keep going. Even if it just stalls you. She's such a horrible person. Okay, wait. Hold on just a minute. She's not even real, but she's tormenting him so much. Tormenting Colin. Wow, these clouds sure aren't as fluffy as they look. Thank you for clarifying that. You've gone on for long enough. But this is where your trespassing ends. Oh god, okay. Armageddon kick. It's not nearly as powerful. You know, for an imaginary character, your attacks are kind of vanilla. Rude dog. Uh, I could really use some help. We're not gonna forfeit, though. I refuse to. To my nature as a Hufflepuff to not give up. Look, we don't have to do this. Then forfeit. Why are you still here? Dag nab it. You just don't give up, do you? No, I don't. Well, there is w this one time with this long line at the grocery store. But here goes, guess not. What the? Rudog! Rudog has joined the party? Uh, alright. Laser nose. Oh my god, I think I can win this. The imaginary dog is questioned and ceases to exist. Damn it! Okay. 
Here's my shoes. Rudolph is definitely the more powerful uh, choice rather than uh, me just trying to use my abilities as Dr. Watts. We'll do the tornado punch. That'll be just enough. I still don't know if what she's saying is true, though. That's the crazy part. If Colin really wants to be left alone. Well, that was a hoot. I beg to differ. Ah, oh, shoot. Rudog's still up there. I forgot to thank him. But why did he help me? Shouldn't all made-up beings act in unison of Colin's subconsciousness? Maybe even Colin himself isn't always so sure of what he wants, but so what? With all that you tempt him with, it's no surprise he got lost. That's okay, though. He may not know what he wants, but I know what he needs. Look, you may be part of his mind. But clearly you don't speak for his entirety. Could it be that you're wrong? I mean, no offense. But you aren't much more than that incomplete copy of Colin back there. In fact, I'm not even sure if there's a point in talking to you right now. After all, you're just an ethereal figment of his imagination that never even existed. Perhaps so, but is that any different from what you're here to do? Eva. Best girl. Hey, sorry, I had to head out for a moment there. She's all in Colin's head, by the way. Uh, yeah. I'm intimately familiar with that fact by now. But what were you doing? You just bailed out on me. I was out administrating sedatives to curb Colin's brain activity. Not sure how his mental progress could override us, but it was getting out of hand. So it wasn't a Christmas miracle after all. It took a while to work out the dosage, as we still need his brain functioning. Seems like it's working though. The effects should be sinking in more now. <laughs> Eva. Wow. Just what have you been dealing with over here? Don't ask. What was that Naruto run she just tried doing? What the heck is that? Just some new code Roxy sent me. She said she saw issues with the machine earlier and knew we'd be in trouble. Wrote a patch in the car while Rob was driving, apparently. Psst, show off. Did, uh, did she say anything else about the machine? As for you doing a crappy job with the self-repairs? No. Not like there was much time to talk. Actually, I'm still not sure if Colin is stable enough for this to work yet. Huh, I didn't expect her to be locked down for good this soon. You must have tired calling out quite a bit. Well, it was a hard fought. It really was. Whatever it was. Whatever it was. Good thing this worked. I doubt we'd have time for a retry. I do have some questions for you about this incident, though. But those can wait until the case is done. The effect of the sedative is temporary. We have little time as it is. Come on, let's move on already while we can. This might just be the most hassle we've ever gone through for a single memory link. Hmm? What is it? 
Oh, it's just something she said earlier. Mm hmm That whole thing was messed up. She did turn freaky and ghastly on you, too? Yeah, that's not what I meant. Never mind. Let's just get going and, and chat later. Alrighty, everybody. I know we're at the very end here, but we're gonna call it quits for now, just because I know my last episode was really long, and this one's gonna be really long, too. I already know it. But we're gonna get to see the very end of the game next episode, and... I know there's branching paths in this game, so we'll see what else we can get done, you know, like, if we tell Sophia about the ink before we go back into the machine or if we forfeit the battle, what all other endings we can get out of this game. Alrighty, everybody, until next time, you all have a lovely day, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!